Well, can you believe it? We made it to episode 100 of Vacation Earth. Thanks for taking the journey with me. I really appreciate it. In today's episode, we'll look at little snippets of all the episodes that came before. One through 99 and a song. <laughs> Hope you enjoy. Slumbered in my hibernation chamber. Now I'm woke. It's sometimes hard to separate the egg white from the yolk. I see the changes needed, and I'm down to lend a hand. As an alien, I've seen some things. I think I understand. Clothes now, and I'd appreciate if you start dressing. English. Either procure a human clone on Guguchi, make sure you strap in securely to the frontal cortex. It can be a bumpy ride. It's called Stonehenge. Two. I can't say exactly where I am, as agents of Area 51 are undoubtedly on my trail. You need uh, anything? No, I don't think so. How about some to eat a little snack? Oh! I can surprise you. It's the perfect trip. We had beignets for breakfast. We've arrived in Florida. We are here to pick up my new runaway camper. I'm so excited. We'll take some coffee and some bagels. I prefer the tepid slime pits of Gugura. I'm very excited. <laughs> Amazing. We stopped on the road to take in some beautiful art. Welcome oh, to planet Earth. Thank you. It's nice to be here. It's Bigfoot. Bigfoot thinker. Something we don't have in Kukuchi. Yes, yes, we have warm, viscous slime. Well, I'll tell you, little buddy. At high noon, he'll be hung from that there hangman's noose. Wait one moment. I will get... Yes, you have a question. That spread? Curtains. Oh. Oh. My goodness. Oh. Oh. Oh, now it's into my thumb. So here is the Prada store, which is a sculpture, really, and not an actual store. So there's Mexico right there. That's the United States. And I'm somewhere in the middle. It would be absurd to jump start an alien spaceship with a human automobile battery. It is absurd. So that is the humor. I think I am understanding. It looks like Timo loves somebody or is loved, but then someone stepped in the middle of it as if to say, I step on your love, Timo. And then of course, Timo's love will be lost in the wind. Maybe they would see you waving from Guguji. Of course, in our uh, worm-like state, we have no hands. We only have antennas in front of our faces. So we couldn't uh, wave in the traditional sense. But do you understand what I mean, Guguji? This is when I discovered that Tombstone closes early. Seligman, which I found problematic to pronounce. Seligman, Seligman, Seligman. You can see people meditating here on the lower portion of the rock, communing with the vortex. So this is one of the most spectacular views of the day, I think, because of several things. Uh, this is more, more on point, um, or perhaps it's Moran point. And there it is. That's the parking spot. I'm so parched. <laughs> this naturally formed bend is amazingly 
270 degrees. And hoodoos. Hoodoo. Hoodoo. My favorite new word. Hoodoo. Hoodoo. Bryce Canyon has the highest concentration of hoodoos. It's starting to get deeper and narrower. The delineations of the edges is so crisp. I am Korg and I love your planet. Ah yes, there's that portal. There must be something to see up there. <laughs> Head back so that we are not the last one out here to be a snack or some wild animal. We're going out to the site where the meteor hit. It's exciting! <laughs> Old Faithful is about 35 feet in length, 10 feet across at the base, and is estimated to weigh 44 tons. Watch your step. Behold, the majestic Saguaro, king of the Sonoran Desert. Well, good morning. I'm at my dispersed campsite. It's 109 degrees here in Needles, California. It's amazing, huh? This being looks like he could be related to us Kagujians. Richard, there seems to be a very distinct smell in the air. I'm not sure I can quite identify it. Uh, ah, marijuana. On Guguji, we have the brain feed, which is an entire civilization of information tapped into your mind. Here on Earth, you have the phone, which is almost the same thing. But this week, I wanted to do a review show. Aw, oh, damn you! Damn you all to hell! Eastern people refused to accept the exhibit as part of a single tree and called it a California hoax. Ladies from a nearby logging camp used to conduct Sunday school services for their children upon the stump. That's how they did it back then. So there's what's inside of the Flodoboda. 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 Finally, this emu took pity on me and ate some of my food. I was grabbing food here and there, wherever I could, not always making the healthiest choices. Outside. It's about 45 right now. We'll bundle up a little bit. You have red moss? It's moss or lichen or something. While on your hike, you may see migrating whales, though I didn't catch any. But I did see some amazing seals sunning themselves on a rock. I hope you are taking care of your human body out there, just as I am attempting to take care of my human body. Latte with pearls that we got from Chinatown. Mm -hmm. There, 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 there. There he is. Do you hear that sort of gurgling sound? That's him. There is good here on Earth, Gugugians. Just don't tell them you're an alien, or they'll imprison you at Area 51. Here is El Capitan to the left, Half Dome, peeking through. And this is Bridalville Fall. <laughs> Loosen the lug nuts before you raise the tire. You will see that later in this video, this causes me some problems. Yes, buddy. Yes. <laughs> Such a beautiful beach. You'll make a mistake. I know it. You'll make a mistake. The cost. 
you'll probably feel like the camper itself should be cheaper because it's small. Mine was on the cheap end of things at $6,900 and change with all of the extras. But the clouds have come out right now. I'm so thankful because it feels actually a little coolish. But anyway, not as bad as it could be. I'm getting to enjoy some Joshua trees. Heading down into, into the canyon. The lighthouse formation is 300 feet high. Apparently, we partook in a total elevation gain of 900 feet from the trailhead. Well, thanks for tuning in today. I'll see you next week. I hope you enjoyed Palo Duro Canyon. And take care of your human body out there. Oh, that, that was the uh, air in my shorts. <laughs> I just discovered that this is a sucker. Schnark, don't put your arm in that, okay? Be careful what body part you put near that. And here's my little floaty device. We're having fun out here. Oh, it's our first bear. Look at that, that's a big one. Along the loop, there are three churches, barns, log cabins, a working gristmill, and several other meticulously restored historical buildings. Let's finish off our day with a walk across the Gay Street Bridge on the Tennessee River. Those fire engines across the way are crossing the Henley Street Bridge. Also from here, you can see the Sun Sphere. By the way, very quickly, if you like the show, consider Buy Me A Coffee to help support the show. Buy Me A Coffee is a great way for creators and artists to accept one-time support or membership ongoing from their fans for the price of a coffee. Go to buymeacoffee.com slash brainfire to help the show. Thank you. Coffee and some bagels And get out of here To where the weather is clear It will be good for my little This miracle elixir will cure all that ails you It'll cure your gout, your vapors, and your heart palpitations The hills are alive Boy, did I make the right decision <laughs> I don't even know if I could still... <laughs> Clem, can you hear me? Yes, I can. What was I supposed to remember?